It was a big moment. I hung on to the table. <laughs> Fresno State Emeritus Professor Juan Felipe Herrera says finding out he was U.S. Poet Laureate was like when his third grade teacher invited him to the front of the room for the first time and complimented him. And I sang. And then she said to me, uh, you have a beautiful voice. And that, that, that phrase just, you know, bow jangled through my body and like, like, a, like a velvet lightning bolt. It was so big, it was so big. It's like all of a sudden somebody tears the roof out of your, off of your house that you've, never, that you've never gotten out of, and all of a sudden you see the big sky. So it was a big sky moment. And so I had to just let the sky shine and feel uh, the light and I tried to figure it out. It was big, it was too big. And I was very thankful. Uh, Dr. James Billington, head of the Library of Congress, is the one who uh, said, uh, uh, would you be willing to serve as the Poet Laureate of the United States? And that was the question that throttled me. Now he has an office in the Library of Congress and promotes poetry. His Poet Laureate project is called Casa de Colores, House of Colors, and he's inviting everyone to submit a few words of poetry on his website on different themes each month. Because it's, it's all voices, it's all colors, it's everybody. I want to promote the voice of the people. Just like Mrs. Sampson uh, told me that I, have a, I had a beautiful, beautiful voice, I, wa I do the same with everybody. And as Poet Laureate of the United States, I want everybody in the United States to, you know, to get inspired. Uh, we need inspiration. We need inspiration. Inspiration gets through everything. It cuts through walls, borders, and fences. With inspiration, we, uh, we want to move, we want to do something good, and we have new ideas, and we want to help others, and our, our life becomes whole. So that's what it's about. He also travels the country inspiring students, teachers, and the community, writers young and old. It's a room of two to three hundred or four hundred people, totally inspired. So I have four hundred solar uh, uh, galaxies moving around me in the audience. It's like that in the audience. And he returned to Fresno State this fall, where he'd been faculty in Chicano Latin American studies for 13 years. He said his time in Fresno was like coming back home since he was born in Fowler. So in 1990, I finally got back to where I started in many real ways. And I was very happy. I love the students. Uh, I love the, the college. And everything inspires him. I walk my dog in the morning, and the sun inspires me. The leaves are rattling by, and that inspires me. Uh, I talk to the students, they inspire me because they're just filled with great ideas and they're young and they're brand new. And I talk with teachers and they got amazing ideas for their classes. Inspiration uh, really doesn't come in bits and pieces. It's always on. It's a light that's always on. It's like the motion of the universe. Everything's always moving because that inspiration is always moving. It's the same thing. The Poet Laureate turns that inspiration into beautiful poetry by locking himself in a room. But I'm really, you know, in a little room full of papers. I don't even know where things are. And I'm very crabby. And I get up very early, around 4 in the morning. And the first thing I do is meditate. And then I just lock myself up in front of the computer. And there's smoke coming out of the room because I'm just typing as fast as I can. I'm writing on pieces of paper. But when it all comes together, then... I look a little different. <laughs> I'm a crabby guy, and I'm a, I'm a hermit, and, uh, and then I pop out of my house and turn into Mick Jagger. He also takes every moment to put poetry in everything and give word blessings. If I'm on an email, I'm about to close it. I'm not going to say best wishes. <laughs> I mean, I want the best wishes is great, but you know, there's a little moment there, a couple of, you know, maybe 10 characters worth. I can put a little poetry line. And I said, this is, this is instant poetry. Anything from a Twitter handle of Cilantro Man to a voicemail that mentions chicharrones. He says it comes naturally out of wishing everybody well. That has to be part of the poem somewhere and part of our lives somewhere, not just in a little corner.